The test suite is a new TIA portal option package with its own license and the following options. It is possible to create programming style guides and check their compliance. Application tests can be created and executed with PLC Zim Advanced. These solutions guarantee a continuously high program quality and are fully integrated into TIA portal. The test suite is located in the project navigation below the version control interface. There are two subfolders, Style Guide and Application Test. Let's take a closer look at the Style Guide Checker now. With the Style Guide Checker, we can define style guides by creating routes for PLC variables, blocks, block interfaces, and PLC data types. It is possible to provide the style guide rules externally. I can export or import the rules in the editor as an XML file using the Export and Import buttons. Individual rules can also be deactivated or reactivated. With the button Execute Rule Set, it is possible to execute the activated style guide rules within a rule collection. A summary of the test results is then created and displayed in the Inspector window under the Test Results tab. Here, it's possible to jump directly to the violated rule or to the violating object via the link. A style guide rule set can be applied to select elements in a project. Individual elements, such as blocks or several PLCs, can be checked at once. There can also be several rule sets. These can be executed manually one after another. The rules do not define positive rules, but the violatings for checking. The advantages of the integrated style guide checker are a simple and intuitive definition of the rules within TIA portal. A fast finding and elimination of rule violations, which supports a continuously good program quality. Let's have a look at the editor. Here we can create a new rule by double-clicking on Add and then configure it, like specify the type of rule, be it metadata, spelling of the name or check for prefix and suffix. Select the object to be tested, whether code blocks, global blocks, instance dbs or tags and whether this violation should be output as a warning or error. We want to create a new rule that checks if code blocks exist with the author test. For this, we use the type metadata. A corresponding structure for defining the rules is now displayed below the new rule. We use contains as rule violation, author as property and test as value. Another possibility for checking is the spelling. In this case, the rule will be violated by code modules that are named in uppercase. We can also check whether the name contains or does not contain a particular string. The name can also be checked for a certain maximum or minimum length. A check for defined prefixes or suffixes is also possible. This rule collection of the style guide checker can again be executed with the start button. There are several program modules in the start project that do not adhere to style guide rules. The first rule stored in the test suite checks for example that the name of a code block may not exceed 24 characters. The rule is defined as a warning so that a warning is issued for names longer than 24 characters. We use scope to select the scope of validity and have the selected project components checked. The results of the style guide checker are displayed in the inspector window in the test results tab. Here we can already see a rule violation from a program block with a too long name. With the link, we can jump directly to the module to correct the rule violation. We can create test cases to define functional tests for individual modules or an entire application. A test case contains definitions of variables and test steps. 
A test step typically consists of the value assignment to PLC variables, the values required for the test, the execution instruction such as the number of CPU cycles or time. It also contains the test conditions under which the actual values are compared with the expected values and a message is generated. When test cases are executed, the following steps are performed automatically. A PLC ZIM advanced instance is created. The project will be compiled and downloaded to the PLC ZIM advanced instance. The test is executed. The PLC ZIM advanced instance is deleted. And the test results are displayed. This enables a test-driven development where code can be tested before release and its use in a real machine. The continuous regression tests thus support stable software development. An application test can test an S7-1500 PLC in the project and execute multiple test cases. It must be ensured that simulation support is activated in the project properties and that all library types or know-how protected blocks have been translated with activated simulation support. We want to test the individual blocks of the PLC program. In our case, we test the block binomial. We instantiate the function block in a cyclic organization block, for example, test. The instance of DFB was called inst binomial. The block parameters remain unconnected because they are later specified by the test suite. In the test case editor, we first define local variables for the test case. This creates a mapping of block variables or global tags or IO tags to local aliases. This is optional but allows better maintenance and easier assignment of variables. The individual steps of the test case are then defined. A step for such a test follows the AAA pattern. This stands for Arrange, Act and Assert. Arrange is setting the values of the data to be passed to the function block to be tested. For example, assigning the value minus 1 to input A and input B. Act is the execution of the user program to be tested with the defined parameters over the time or the number of cycles. Assert is to check whether the action to be tested behaves as expected. Here we would like to introduce an example for a modern module, where we define local aliases speed and position, which access the corresponding instance data of the FB. We have an input in FB set velocity and an output in FB actual position. Now we define a test step in which we want to test the speed. We set input speed value to 20. We let the PLC run only 3 cycles and expect this output position to be set to value 60. Then we execute the test cases and get the following test results in the inspector window. First, compilation result in the tab Compile. Here we can check whether the PLC program is compiled error-free in TIA portal. Second, the download result in the tab General. Here we can check if a specific project is downloaded to a PLC ZIM advanced instance. And third, the test result in the test results tab. All test results are stored in the TIA portal project under Common Data in Logs. This documents the test execution in the project. This makes it possible, for example, to track when an error first occurred. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.